Hey y'all, it's Raj with EV365 and today we're reviewing the Smart Splitter by NeoCharge. All right y'all, here it is, the Smart Splitter by NeoCharge. And I wanted to give y'all a little history on the company NeoCharge. Um, it was founded by two friends that met in the Cal Poly uh, senior project class um, and they were both EV owners so they would talk to EV owners at the charging stations when they'd go to charge their vehicles and found out that one of the pain points was setting up level two charging at home for folks. Either it was complicated from the electrical standpoint or, or just cost prohibitive. Um, so they wanted to come up with an idea that allowed folks to use their existing outlets at their house to charge their EVs, um, and that's how the smart splitter came to be. And then about a year later, they, they brought in another buddy from Cal Poly, and they got their operations set up. And uh, in about 2020, they started selling these units. And the unit hasn't changed much since then. Um, so you'll find some reviews out there from 2020 that are still good. Um, but I just wanted to get one up on my channel because I use this product. I'm super happy with it. Like I said, it's a US-based company. They're built in the US. And I think with more folks, you know, getting into EVs for the first time or even current EV owners getting multiple EVs at home, a product like this is something that a lot of folks are going to need and can take advantage of. All right. So now let's get into the unit itself. And one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is it's got a pretty small profile. Um, and the reason NeoCharge did this is they basically wanted it to fit the same size of the standard wall plate that you're going to find on a 30 amp or 50 amp outlet. Um, and it's got about three inches of thickness, so that's gonna fit behind your appliances without you having to scoot them out too far. Um, in most cases, if you're using this with a dryer, they're setting out three, three to four inches away from the wall anyway. Um, and you can see it's made out of a good sturdy plastic. The outlets are robust, so you can plug in and out of those um, without worrying about wearing out those prongs too quickly. Um, and the one thing, even though it is built out of this sturdy plastic, it is rated only for indoor use, uh, but it is UL certified. So it's on the underwriter laboratory list uh, for, for with those safety certifications. So we do like to see that. And the way this unit works, um, and NeoCharge has a patent on this, is it's the only unit out there that's allowed to take a single outlet connection, bring it into the unit and use whatever brains it has inside of it to decide how much power needs to go to your primary outlet and how much power needs to go to your secondary outlet. So the one over here on the right of the unit, if you're looking at it from my perspective, from your perspective, the left of the unit is the primary and the one over here is the secondary. Um, and if you notice, these are NEMA 1450 outlets and I've got a unit, uh, NEMA 1450 uh, plug here as well. So whatever your plug type is, is what your outlet types are gonna be on this unit. So if you have one plug type, but you wanna to go to a different outlet, uh, NeoCharge does sell short little adapter cords that will work with the unit. Um, and they do offer this in, very, in several variations of 30 amp and 50 amp uh, plug and outlet types. Um, and so in general, say if you've got an appliance at home you can plug that into your primary outlet. So say your dryer's plugged into the primary outlet, you can plug your EV charger into the secondary outlet, and you come home at night, you start charging, it's gonna pull power from this secondary outlet. And it's got a little light here on both sides that'll give you some indicators that you're plugged in, that they're receiving power, and that it's pulling power. Um, so say you're pulling power from this secondary outlet, and somebody goes to turn on the dryer and it starts pulling a majority of the power, it's going to shut off this outlet and start sending power to that primary outlet until it's done. And say once the drying is done and you still need some charge left on that, on that uh, electric vehicle, it's going to start sending power back over to the secondary outlet and provide you power that way. And it's going to do the same thing, say if you plug two electric vehicles into this with two different chargers. Um, say this first vehicle is pulling 40 amps and you come in and plug in a second vehicle that's requesting 40 amps, it's not gonna send power to that vehicle until the first vehicle is done or until the first vehicle reaches its uh, time of completion as you set it on your vehicle. Um, but if you have both vehicles charging at less than the 40 amps that this unit works with, 
um, say at 20 amps over here and 20 amps over there, it'll charge both vehicles at the same time. Um, so that's really cool. What's great about that is if in the middle of the night, rather than being a single charger household where you've got to wake up and then pull the charger from one vehicle and go plug it into the other one, you can have two chargers and this will kind of take care of that switch for you, which is a, a pretty big convenience. Um, and it's going to make sure that you're not pulling more power than your breaker can handle. Okay, so over here, we just wanted to show you how simple it is to install the NeoCharge unit. This is our NEMA 1450 outlet. Um, it comes, the NeoCharge comes with this bracket. And basically, you just take out the two screws that are on your existing wall plate. And the bracket will line up with that and you use the screw that comes with the NeoCharge unit to put that bracket in place so it holds it tight. Then you just get your NeoCharge unit and you push that right in. The bracket will fit on either side and you can see the lights came on. Um, and then you've got these two little screws that you can just screw in yourself on the sides and that'll hold the unit in place. Okay, and so once you've got the two side screws in, that holds your unit in place, secure, it, makes, it, it ensures you're flush to the wall and that you're not gonna have any issues with any arcing. And we recommend you do the same thing. When you plug in anything into the unit, just make sure you're plugging it in and it's sitting in flush into the unit um, so you're avoiding any arcing. And so that's as simple to get the NeoCharge in and then you just plug in whatever appliance you want into your primary over here or whatever EV charger you want to be your primary over here and whatever you want to be your secondary over here. All right, so the NeoCharge Smart Splitter is plugged in and ready to go. One thing we did want to stress is when you do the install, uh, make sure you turn off the breaker and once you're done um, getting all the screws in place, then you can turn that breaker back on and plug into the unit and you're, you're pretty much ready to use it. Um, and that's the beauty of the NeoCharge unit. It is plug and play. Now NeoCharge is working on an app that will integrate with the app of your vehicle and your chargers. And if you've got solar that's tied into all that, it will integrate with that app and kind of have them all work together. Um, but that's coming out in a few months. So for now, the NeoCharge unit is plug and play. Um, and it basically takes the stress out of you having to worry about, oh, I'm charging my vehicle. We need to dry some clothes. Um, let me go outside and get on my app and make sure the vehicle's not charging anymore. Let the dryer finish up. And then once the dryers finish up, go get that charge going again or go plug in again. Or if you've got two vehicles, you know, you don't have to set an alarm for the middle of the night to go downstairs and unplug one vehicle once it's done charging and, get, and plug it into the other vehicle. If you've got two chargers, this will do all that for you. And that's a patent approved process that NeoCharge has to let that power come in based off the amperage it's pulling. It'll decide what needs to go to the primary, what needs to go to the secondary. Um, and one thing I did want to stress again is that even though you may be pulling full power from the primary, it'll at least give you a little bit of juice to the secondary. That way, if there's any kind of background stuff that needs electricity, um, it's not going to just completely cut it off. Um, so yeah, that's the NeoCharge unit. We've used it quite a bit since we received it and we love it. It does everything we wanted it to do. Um, it's saving us from putting wear and tear on our primary outlet. Um, and it allows us to charge two vehicles really without even thinking, thinking about it. So we recommend this unit. Um, please check it out, give it a try. And if you've got any questions, um, let us know in the comments below. We'll be sure to get those answered. And if you've got any other content that you want to see, let us know and we'll try to get that as well. Thanks for watching guys. Hang loose.